that's sucks. Yeah. She's like basically right down the train. The train is stopped, it's not going anywhere. She's like, it's raining. Oh, she missed the train. <laughs> Do you have a red light on the side of my face? I'm not photographing no. you. I'm using you as a distraction. But I want to get somebody looking at a menu, like lit by the window. Not necessarily here, but somewhere I want to get to. I'm not going to use any um, color at all, because it has a lot of color in it. I'm shooting raw as well. Oh, okay. So the JPEGs are black and white, but the raws have got the original uh, okay. color. So I got the alley. <laughs> so we're just walking past on the phone at the end. It's nice. Yeah. At this time of night, there's not a lot you can do because it's dark. So you have to look for like little bits where light is lighting somebody up or, or you have to look for silhouettes. Ooh. That's nice. That actually looks really cool. But yeah. I'm trying to find little pockets of light just lighting up people's faces, that's what I want. And this was the doorway with the light coming out and I was trying to catch someone being lit by this because they're all like shining out here. You see how you're lit up? Oh yeah, that's awesome. So that's what I was trying to get someone walking past doing that. And it is really difficult at this time of night. See now there's a cool window. We're looking that way. So that window, that really, really bright window, looks really good for lighting people up. Mm -hmm. We'll find out now. I'm waiting for the background to clear and the guy's just stopped to have a cigarette. What I'm going to do instead is wait for that bit to clear. And I want to try and get one person just walking out. It's not going to happen, but I'm going to try anyway. I'm what I'm trying to get is people that are individual, not in a big clump, not in front of each other. All right. We'll pack these away so you can warm your hands up. So there's a guy told us there's coffee places down here, so that's where we're going. I'm going to a coffee place with food and a coffee place without food. Ideally a coffee place with food. Yeah. Because I'm hungry, but I need coffee. And I need to sit down and I need warmth because it's cold. Really cold. Manchester looks quite creepy at night. Mm -hmm. Pub. Pub that does food and it's packed. Oh yeah, it's Saturday, that's why. Yeah. We gotta find somewhere. Okay. So Richard and a couple of others had asked me about my minimalist vlogging setup. Uh, so that's what I wanted to go over in this little clip. But the first bit is the Rode Smart Lab microphone, which is this right here, which goes into my old iPhone 4S, which is, this is pretty much its only purpose in life now. 
my second phone. This is the one that records the audio. This is the one that records the video. And that goes in here, in the Zhiyun Smooth C gimbal. So that keeps it level when I'm moving. And this is how I record myself. I point it back at me and, whoops, no down, not up. I point it back at me and hold it out and, and it points at me. But you can't quite get enough reach on this to hold it far enough away unless your arm's all the way out. So I use this, my Manfrotto Pixie, screws right into the bottom. And then I can hold it like this and get it further away from me. And this way I don't have to use those horrible wide angle lenses on my iPhone. I can just hold it further away with this. Plus, whenever I want to, I can just set it down. And no matter whether the surface is level or, ooh, or even or not, it doesn't matter because the gimbal keeps the phone straight, either, no matter where it's positioned or what angle it's at. The iPhone 4S that records sound has a, a, a case with a battery pack built in. And I have another one of those for the iPhone so that if I'm filming with it all day, I can just slide it in here and charge it back up. This is my memory card case, which has a bunch of micro SD cards in it. And the little Lexar card reader for unloading footage off here. So if I fill it up, I can get the footage out and delete it from the phone and free up space to keep filming. If I don't want to use the gimbal on top of the Pixie, I can use this little ball head, or one of these ball heads, and a little phone clamp. So if I take this out of here, I can put the phone in the clamp like this and screw it onto a ball head. And I don't need to screw it onto a ball head, but it lets it get a little higher up. Yeah, so this can screw on there. So if I don't want to bother with the gimbal and I've just got this with me, I can set that up like that. So these will connect straight onto here as well. And then the other thing, the other reason I have these is for the mini slider. So this screws on here and then the phone can go in there. And it's not a very long slider, so you're not going to get massive, you know, long slides. But, you know, if I'm doing something close up, block the focus, block the exposure, and stop on the coffee. Sometimes I'll take, even though I've got cases on both my, bat uh, on both my phones, I'll take a USB battery as well and I've got spare cables for the iPhone SE and the iPhone 4S. Spare batteries for the gimbal. The one problem with this gimbal is that to turn it on and off, you just hit that little button on the side and then it comes on. And it's not protected in any way. There's, you know, it, it, it'd be better if it was like a little slidey switch, but it's not. And if it's in your bag and it gets like pushed against something in your bag, it'll turn on not turn off and then it'll just drain all the batteries the next time you come to use it. So that's why I always carry spares with me. I wish this was either a switch or a long press to turn it on and off, but it's not. Or I wish it would just turn itself off if the motors weren't turned on within like a minute or something. That would be even better. And that's it, that's everything. Yeah, and that's it. So, so yeah, if you have any other gear questions, post them down below. Um, or any gear suggestions, post those as well. We're about to start making our way back home to Lancaster. And tomorrow, I'm going to be getting together with Clinton Lofthouse and heading up to the Lake District, which is going to be interesting. Ellie's coming along as well. And if she doesn't behave herself, I'm throwing her in a river. I don't care how cold it is. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Bye.